passing the blank. 24. And this is when they're running for you, Ted. Just one red coming to the per the only spot he could get out of those reds and lined up for the middle pocket. Yes, John, that was very fortunate. Disaster this for Charlton. Yes, and I think this is Ray's highest break this session, Ted. Up to now, 44 and still an easy red into the corner pocket. 45. Another nice angle on the blank to go off the back cushion into those six reds. Charlton will require snookers. And Luke's perfect to split those three reds here. 
81. Just the six colors to go. The only 96. difficult one is the pink. And that's not a good shot, having to cut this green with a lot of left hand side to stay on the brown. Difficult shot this. <laughs> One frame later, Reardon was through. And Charlton's fine attempt to beat him had failed yet again. For Reardon, it was the seventh time he'd reached the World Championship final. And he'd never lost in the six previous appearances. Well, the second semi-final was a complete contrast to that one. Jimmy White versus Alex Higgins. Higgins described it as being more at home down in the Florida Keys, a whirlwind against a hurricane. And I can tell you, they didn't disappoint us. We'll start by looking at the seventh frame. Higgins leads by four frames to two and by 45 points to ten, White to play. One... And a very clever shot from Jimmy there. A possible chance to just disturb those two reds this time. Now this pink. If he gets it, everything's there for the taking. Forty-seven. 